Guys, you're never gonna believe this key, like what it allows you to do. I, this could actually be kind of nuts. So welcome, subscribe, and post it because you forget the bell. Make it go ding if you haven't already. Welcome back to Brookhaven. Hello there, tall lady. What is going on here? Why is there a tall lady in my home, in my library? I think she might be thinking about robbing my house. She's trying to use my house commands. You're not allowed. Get out. Go. Be gone with you. I will, I will, I will do that. I will lock my door and put up my gates. So yeah, guys, if you want to like hire your drawbridge, you know, it's called a drawbridge. Castles have drawbridges. If you want to lift it up, all you do is lock your house and that's going to take your drawbridge away. And it makes it just a little bit difficult because you get your molt here and people are going to fall into burning hot lava. Um, if we could only have that, that would be amazing. I would love to have burning hot lava in my castle molt area surrounding it. So nobody will ever defy the dragon king. I'm... I don't, I don't know. Any, anyways, guys, getting back on track here. This thing here in my hands holds the holy power of all. The one secret book that Brookhaven reveals to us all. The translations of the scrolls. Everything that we know to be true. Everything that is whole in Brookhaven. That brings Brookhaven to what it is as we know it today is thanks to this key. Well, sort of. So, yeah. I, I, who are you fooling? Oh, watch this, dude. Watch this, dude. Watch this, dude. Oh, this is going to be funny, dude. What? <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Go ahead and try it. Try it. Jeff? Yeah, go. No, no, come on in, Jeff. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm literally sitting there waiting, dude. He doesn't care. He doesn't care, dude. Get out of my house, dude. Get out of my house. You're not fooling nobody, dude. Both of you? Seriously? It's like that dude. He's gonna rob the safe. He's gonna rob the safe. Does he know how to open the safe? I think he does. Wait, he doesn't know how to open the safe room? How do you not know this? This is basic 101 castle knowledge here, dude. We found this on day one of the release. I just love how these people are just roaming around my castle. Fine, then rob the safe. Be gone, would you? You can have the safe. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Put your gun away. What in the world? He's got a sniper rifle. Anyways, guys, let's go get some fresh air up at the top. Up at the top. Oh, I, I, I forgot I locked my house. Go out and lock it. Now nobody can touch me. I am on top of the world, on top of the castle, and I will be totally fine. For good and forever and always. All right, look at the moon, dude. The full moon rising. Werewolves have now invaded. You know, honestly, with the castle, dude, and all the vampire stuff, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me that we would get some touch of werewolves or something in Brookhaven at one point, too. But... Either way, the sun is going to be rising over here uh, behind the arc, and it's going to look terrific. A nice new morning sunrise in Brookhaven. It doesn't get me any better. But, guys, with this key, this has been the talk of the town. The town of the talk. The talk of the town talk. What? Anyway, so yeah, this key has been the talk of the town, guys. Uh, it has a lot of mystery surrounding it and a lot of, like, curiosity on just what all it can do. Because, guys, y you get a key. Look at the tip of this key, dude. That fits in a chest? That fits in a door? Or something. You know what would be the coolest thing ever, dude? If the castle secretly had, like, a secret door somewhere that we could utilize this key to unlock it to gain access to a secret room that allows us to dimensionally travel to other places throughout time. A time travel room of such, Mr. Brookhaven himself has used it and used it to get down to this here, guys. However... Here's the interesting thing about the time travel in Brookhaven. You might be asking yourself, okay, with time travel in Brookhaven, why is Brookhaven just not time travel back to the current time? Um, imagine this, guys. What if time travel was only possible, say, every 33 years or something? You know, every 33 years, stuff aligns correctly and you're able to utilize time travel finally. However, that would mean you have to wait just as long again to be able to time travel again. So if that's the case, there is some type of limitations, guys. I don't feel like time travel would be something that's just so accessible, you know? Like, um, so it wouldn't make sense in Brookhaven that Mr. Brookhaven would just, you know, have a time machine. You could just press a button and be able to time travel to any time and period ever. However, maybe there is like a, you know, a cool down period, so to say. And maybe there is something that takes some time. Uh, in order to be able to utilize the grasp and all the knowledge of time travel uh, for Mr. Brookhaven. Well, these scrolls and stuff do kind of hint that Mr. Brookhaven could have been the translator. Bring out the bring out the fish. Bring out the whole ocean. Um, so yeah, it, it, it could be the case, right? So that be the case, guys, we have the key here. The key allows us to activate the scrolls. 
You know that, I know that, everybody knows that. There's nothing new there. With this key, we can activate the scrolls and read two new notes that allow us to just kind of understand that there is a book being translated, you know. Um, and it's allowing us to know the meaning of life and all the secrets that is Brookhaven and its existence. This book seems like a sacred, sacred piece of history. The real version of this book could be anywhere in Brookhaven. And whoever holds that book will know the true history as it is whole. Now, that could be the book that's in the uh, the museum. There's a book in the museum. That could be the book in the museum that kind of uh, showcases all this knowledge. Now, we do also know there's two books. There's the agency book. So, that being the case, there's also the agency book, which is... Uh, you know, it's interesting as as well. What 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 is the agency using these symbolisms and all this crazy stuff to uh, uh, in this red book? You know, and all their crazy experiments. I mean, it goes a bit far. It just goes a bit far. I don't like them. Um, but yeah, so that be the case. The book in the museum has to be the book that was being translated down here in the scrolls. Because beside that book. If we go look, woo, good thing I got uh, rubber legs or that would have hurt. Um, yeah, so the thing about that book, it's right beside the painting that's in the castle that you have to press to activate the secrets. So it kind of adds, uh, adds together a little bit. Well, just, uh, you could have a slice of the pie, not all of it. Um, so yeah, that'd be the case. See, here's that painting and here is the book. So I want to know what's in the book. Give me the book right now. I'm breaking in the museum, taking it all. Nobody's getting it. It's mine. I want the power. Um, but yeah, so there's this book here. And that's what I really think it connects to. And that's what I really think it is. So this key might just, in another update, unlock this book for us to get in our possession and utilize other secrets through various forms and ways. However, here's some sad news. Sad news. I don't want to tell you guys, but... This might be, this next big secret update might be one of the final bits of the secrets in Brookhaven for good. <sighs> you hate to hear it, but that might be the case because once we figure out these remaining secrets, it might piece everything together and all the missing question or answers that we've been asking, it might finally all be revealed. I mean, the museum did a good job in revealing a lot, but we got a couple more things to finish and a couple more things to find and get down to the bottom of. And this key might have a little bit more usage than we previously thought. And I don't think we're gonna be able to believe it, dude. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I think it's gonna be really surprising. But anyways, I see a lot of people talking about this key. Other possibilities for the key. Is there somewhere around the map that you can open up a secret room or something? Maybe in the agency base. If you guys find anything about this key or you have any other theories about this key, please let me know in the comment section below Go down to the comments, post like, hey, maybe the key is used for this. We'll try it. We're Mythbusters here. We try to get down to the bottom of everything, and we will figure out the full mystery of this key going forward into the future. As you guys know, Brookhaven updates every two to three weeks. That means soon we could have this revealed to us even quicker than we realize, and it might even be paired and bundled with the Christmas update. So yeah, that is what I believe is gonna surprise us. And we're gonna end up being really surprised about this key furthermore, as if it wasn't already surprising. Is that a killer clown? Holy moly, dude, I thought killer clown season was over. Oh my God, dude, killer clowns are creepy. Too creepy. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I will have to decline your offer. Thank you very much for teaching me. But I don't want to be taught. Um, yeah, so that be the case, though, guys. Thank you guys so much for the love and support on the videos. Obviously, we're an ever-so-growing grow, ever so growing community. Uh, we do Brookhaven. We're switching to Blocks Fruit a little bit. You know, we're adding some Blocks Fruit in there. I love Blocks Fruit, guys. If you haven't seen the Blocks Fruit videos, go give them a stab. Go give them a check out. Blocks Fruit is incredibly fun. It wouldn't be the other most popular game on Roblox for nothing. Um, it is a good, darn good game, okay? You're not going to believe it once you start playing it, dude. It is so much fun. So... Um, that be the case though. Love you guys so much. We'll see you all in the next one.